repellent is going to actually repel. So back in the day, uh, people always believed with termite control that when you get a termite treatment and you're at Mrs. Jones's house, uh, you know, you, uh, you you automatically think, oh no, they're going to come to my house next, you know, because they're they're using a repellent. Nowadays, a lot of your products are non-repellent products, so they're not going to repel. They're meant for the insects to go through it. They have no idea that they're picking it up, and within a few minutes to hours, they're going to die. Um, whereas your repellents just kind of move them. Biggest one is fleas. People call all the time and they, they buy a flea bomb in the store and they bomb their house and by the time they've bought you know five bombs and they realize that they're not getting anywhere they call us and then they pay us so it costs them twice as much if not three times as much they should have just called a professional in the beginning. Um, one thing that you're bombs don't have is a growth regulator and that's the key to, to flea control is to control the growth of the young adults or the young juveniles that are gonna emerge. Um, the growth regulator won't allow them to reproduce and your store-bought bombs don't don't have that that product. The, the professional products are meant to be applied by a licensed uh, individual that knows what they're doing. Uh, most people, when they buy pesticides over the counter at like Lowe's or Home Depot, they don't even read the label. Even oven cleaners, people will use oven cleaners at, at home. They don't wear gloves. They don't look at that label. That stuff is very, very dangerous. But they buy it on the shelf, so they think it's safe. Um, and that's the same thing with, with the over-the-counter pesticides. They really don't know what they're doing or what they're applying or if they should even put it where they're putting it. Uh, mothballs is a big one. If you go into a house and they're like, we, we loaded the house with mothballs. For what? They're dangerous. In, in the state you have them, th this is very, very dangerous. Uh, mothballs is like a fumigant in, in mass quantity. And we've gone into homes before where you know they had bed bugs and they're using mothballs. I have no idea why, but um, we see all that. We, we see a lot of crazy things that people use. Uh,